Okay, Sagittarius, here's your second reading of the day, which is the random reading. And in the random reading, <coughs> we pull from a deck of random topics. Um, this is just what you need to know right now, Sag. This won't be for everyone, so just keep that in mind that, you know, it could have already happened, could be going to happen, could be happening right now, and it could have absolutely nothing to do with you. <laughs> so first, um, what can wait came up first. And then what are you making room for? Why and how? And then I was just so drawn to this one. What do I need to see differently? It just seemed like it fit. So sad. I mean, I do feel like this is relational for you. Um, maybe definitely specific. Um, and it it actually pretty much feels like a Mercury retrograde message. I might title that, it might not, but because during Mercury retrograde, um, and it's in Virgo, so it's very much going to be about conversations as Mercury always is, right? And it's kind of revisiting things um, to to correct them, you know, <laughs> you know, so that we can see details a little more clearly. And and it's interesting because I am seeing details and maybe even some painful details that might come up, and they're coming up actually not to cause you pain. Um, they're coming up so that you could see things from the other side too. Okay. Um, yeah. So I asked who this is about. Is this an old person or a new person? And <laughs> this is funny because it's unclear. <laughs> of course. Nine of Cups, the Empress, and the Knight of Cups. Um, this could be an old person or this could be a new person. There is a focus, a really strong focus on growth here. Okay, let me just say that. It is romantic in nature, y'all. It is. It is. And it is something you want. So, I mean, before I get the comments, like, you know, I'm not going back to the... This is something you want. All right, so... I said what I said. If you're looking for personal readings, please check out the link in my description. And let's get to it. And by the way, thanks everyone for showing up in live. That's super nice. And I have figured it out, okay? <laughs> I have figured out the whole member aspect. Um, and just like, just a, a reiteration. If you sign up, if you click the join button, what that... Uh, membership gives it's currently the only membership but what that gives is um for five dollars a month you get a free weekly question pretty much meaning a, a free weekly mini reading um having a, a question answered in live and thank you diana for clearing that up for me <laughs> like how i could tell people are members Jeez. all right so um what can wait? I, you know what, Sag, I feel like you're coming together with someone. And this could be a new person or it could be a person from the past. Um, because the Knight of Cups is here, it, you know, the Knight of Cups with the Empress can represent a renewal. So it could represent someone who's in and out of your life. It could, you know... Or it could be a new person, because I feel like these energies are going to apply for both. So you're going to have to take it as it resonates for you. But Five of Wands and the Third Chakra. <laughs> for what can wait. And you can just, if you know anything about tarot, maybe you kind of know what this means. But if not, I'm going to let you know. First of all, the Third Chakra are kind of like those things we haven't said. Um, when you have a blockage in your throat chakra, often you will feel like a frog is in your throat or be clearing your throat all the time. But I feel like there are things here that you haven't said um, to this particular person, for sure. 
right? And you may think, Sag, that you want to say it now, you know, because with the Five of Wands, that is pretty much saying that you feel unheard or you feel blocked or you feel like people aren't respecting your point of view, right? It's a conflict for sure. Um, and you, you think that you, you want to say it, okay? It could be like speaking on, because I'm seeing the energy, what, what happened, you know, and whatever that is, I mean, whatever that conflict is, but with the Eight of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Three of Cups, and the reason for this part of the reading, what can wait, is that you're being cautioned to not do it don't do it okay I feel like there's going to be time there's definitely going to be time for that but now it, and it's really something because I was seeing strengthening bonds in the live reading so it, it really is that that's it's the time for that it's the time to feel good it's the time you know this with the six of cups being here definitely that can be someone from your past or someone that you know or a soulmate because the six of cups is also a gift and they're strong you know um soulmate energy but it's definitely something turning around the three of cups can also be reconciliation um and this could be with friends like because the three of cups often represents friends um getting together though like i feel like you are getting together with this person I feel like there is communication here. And, you know, it's really funny because it feels like a conversation might be coming up um, about something that happened in the past. And I feel like this person may see it a little differently than you. Like, they may actually see it as a good memory. Um, I'm not saying that, you know, it's kind of like they see the good side of things. But you kind of see it from a five of wands point of view. And you might want to speak on it, but first it's time to move forward. I, I know that sounds crazy because normally that's not how we do it, right? But you're supposed to move forward in a way that feels good. You know, and so when we're trying to move forward in a way that feels good, we don't always want We don't really need to go back to that. We don't need to. And I feel like that is what this is telling you. If you want to for it to feel good in this, whether this is a new person or whether this is a past person, you have to move beyond feeling like you need to go over something from the past it, that, I don't know, could be hurt you or, or something that was said or some way that someone didn't value you in some way I feel like you're supposed to focus on th on feeling good okay and so wow <laughs> okay so that's why it felt like a mercury retrograde message for Sagittarius um, so yeah so in terms of what you're making room for um, coming together. I mean, we see coming together and the solar plexus chakra. The solar plexus chakra is about our emotions. It's about, um, our intuition. It's about all of those things. This is someone that you have, like, someone or people in general that you have a bond with and you're definitely looking towards strengthening the bond, getting closer. And you actually feel like you're supposed to. Okay, and you're actually, you know, supposed to open to that. And, you know, there is pain, right? Ten of Swords. It could be, it could be that you are carrying some pain that you weren't really facing. Because with the Ace of Swords reverse, it's kind of like a lie, right? It, it could be carrying some pain. And maybe it's like what you're moving forward to kind of points out what you might still be holding on to and that can actually you know block progress right because this is all about growth 
So this may not have to do with this person per se, but you, you know, the what, how good things are feeling actually brings this up. And it's being brought up so that you can let it go. Because, you know, if we're carrying pain, we can't feel joy. So it may be residual pain. Uh, it just may be, And I kind of feel like it's something you didn't even realize you were carrying. Right? And, you know, why this is so that you can open up. So if, you know, if you're moving forward with someone new or someone from the past comes back and you kind of feel a little triggered just keep in mind that's happening because it's happening so you can let it go so you can be happy okay and so yeah page of cups so you can open up to a new emotional experience right and there's a lot of dreamy happy energy with the page of cups you know it's also too so that you can see something new the way a child sees something new the sense of wonder right that, you know, we all remember every time we start a relationship, there is those opening up of feelings and how good that feels. And I feel like that's what's going on. I do. Now, how, how this happens is Page of Pentacles. Take a look. Um, realize that it's happening and allow yourself to be happy in this new emotional experience because with the page of pentacles we're learning we're focused on growth and this is a growth moment for you Sagittarius so yay you could also even talk about that like because I feel like you're not supposed to talk about what pissed you off what or what has caused you pain but how you've grown it's a different way of speaking and it really kind of brings out something different in other people yeah yeah so let's see what you need to see differently well I feel like for one thing you need to not let You need to be honest with yourself in terms of how this energy may make you, I don't want to say wishy-washy, but, but be hesitant or go back and forth on things, you know. And also, you know, understand when you're doing that, right? Often when we think about people who have hurt us and what it's, how difficult it makes us to have relationships, even though it's a growth moment, we forget that you know what everyone has their own truth everyone is going through their own thing and you know it's it's kind of makes it easier for us to bring balance into situations and actually move on things if we see that this and that are true and understanding too Sag it's not important you know it's not important for you to focus on this ten of swords energy it's not important. No. What's important is what you're going to. What's important is feeling good. Okay? Yeah. Four of Swords. The King of Cups. And the Ten of Cups. You've healed, Sag. You know? It's not necessary to hide yourself from love. Allow yourself to believe and to feel the possibilities of the Ten of Cups, which is happily ever after, um, you know, getting what you want emotionally and opening up to the fact that whoever it is that you're dealing with in this reading, that your needs can be met, that this actually could turn into the Ten of Cups. This could work. This could give you all of the the emotions you're that you want that it can be mature that it you know see the possibilities is pretty much what it's telling you and so okay i don't know who this is for but that's your message <laughs> thanks so much toodles